This is the clock upon the wall. This is the story of us all. This is the first time I ever seen a born child before he starts to grow. This is the war that he endured. This is a soldier and his girl. This is the mother waiting for the call. It's not your business, and you just jealous and fucky feel. You just get my love. I'm gonna go back to the other one because I fucked it up. You are so cut. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna get yourself in a big trouble, Olaf. Why are you doing this again? Shut up! I messed it up. You should do it again every time. Do it. You're gonna get yourself in big trouble, Olaf. I thought you were a lot smarter than to go than to go messing around with the wall. Okay. What's the problem, Ron? It's not a front house. It's not your business. If you just jealous, some fucking deal. Defensive. Like you're the whore. <laughs> it's hot. What if I was? I don't owe you anything. Mm. In fact, you owe me for tarnishing my image with you for three months! <laughs> Gee, was that it? <laughs> Torture seemed way longer to me. <sighs> hey, where are you going? Obviously, you aren't mature enough to be an adult. I'll do part A, you do part B, we hand it in Monday, graduate this stuff, and I never see you at a school less. I never see you at a school again! Pictures of me, home upon your wall. Perked up and happy. Well, I haven't said anything yet. You guys suck. Hold on, wait, sorry. Either that, or you don't like the answering machine, because you know you don't know the answer to my physics problem. A minute. But if you do know any of it before 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, call me back. Otherwise, I'm handing it around, crediting you, and there'll be no schoolgirl fun. Love ya. I can call her back. Get your mask up. Forget about it. Still doesn't mean I can solve high school physics problems. Is. What's X and Y? What? Exactly. Why did you clean her out tonight? <laughs> Cause she's 17, you dumb fuck, remember? The sweet high school meat doesn't mix with the rest of the world. The rest of the world isn't so great now either. Why do you always pick 5 a.m. for this shit? You're fine, Ian. You're fine. What? Nothing. Why are you always so curious? Go to bed. What about tomorrow? Yes, you can be curious tomorrow. No, you idiot. What are we doing tomorrow? No idea. I plan to sleep until noon, lie awake in front of the TV until 4, and then I might consider actually doing something. Consider <laughs> the linguistic gathering tomorrow at noon. Will you be up for that? Fine, we'll go to that. Now go to bed before you hit the floor. Okay. <coughs> what am I supposed to do? Have a heart I attack. the counter. High counter. I think you guys are supposed to be doing the same in the kitchen, actually. Probably. Hmm. You didn't seem too drunk though. I'm not drunk, I'm just ill. Okay. Not that ill. You can be sitting next to him, not sitting on him. Oh. And how is he going to come in and shove you down if you're sitting down? Yeah, Aiden. Aiden did some shit. Like what? He did some shit. Traumatic past, all that. You want to have it? You have to have some. I'm not going to go around telling people. You think he's coming? I don't know. Maybe he likes you too. Like how? Just funny questions. What if I came to y'all see full for and feel for that? <laughs> what if I came to y'all see full for and feel for and told you I liked you? I wonder how much you had to drink. What, you think I'm not capable of full for and feel for? Alice, Alice, please love me. I'll be lost forever. There is a drug that kills it all Blocked by the government's war We are the scientists inside